In the 1990s, NASA realized that there were some scientific questions that needed answering that did not sit comfortably within the known body the of knowledge. Stove, no, no, yes, but certainly not even within the siloed sciences as they have been laid out, as we've come to think of them in college. Mm -hmm. You're majoring chemistry, I'm majoring physics, I'm majoring in this, mm -hmm. majoring in that. Nature doesn't draw those boundaries. Right. We did. Right. So, one of the questions was origins. Origins of life. Is that just biology? No, life began on a planet. Mm. In a solar system. It could system. be stellar or... Yeah, you know, no, no, maybe. just the forces operating right, on this. Right. And how is a biologist going to answer that question without knowing what the sun was doing mm -hmm. at the time life began? Mm -hmm. Or what Earth was doing? And so what NASA created were these origin centers. Rather, they created funding umbrellas. Mm -hmm. Origins funding umbrellas where you could enter into the room with the, 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 the figurative room from all these different branches of science. And they would come together and ask questions of each other because they're interdependent to interdependent answer, to answer, to answer some, this other questions. Some of these, some of these questions. I don't yeah. want to call that a spinoff. I want to say that's a whole brand new way right. to explore the world. Right. So an extrapolation or an extension of. So yeah. yes, there is new sciences to be plumbed. I don't want to think of them as an entire branch of science. I'd like to think of them as new things out there where. People with different expertise may have to come together mm -hmm. to address those questions. Mm -hmm. And I would say, that being said, probably the newest science out there is neuroscience. We're in our infancy. And I look forward to when it's in its maturity. Mm. 